Good evening, welcome to the Freetown Board of Selectmen's meeting, it being October 15, 2018 at 6.04 p.m. I'd like to call the meeting to order. Is anyone recording the meeting? Free cam. Anyone else? Okay. On today's consent agenda, um, 6, 6 p.m., Board of Selectmen, discuss vote on funding sources for articles of special town meeting warrant. Discuss vote on Board of, board of Recommendation for special town meeting, Article 5. Discuss vote on next special town meeting date uh, as, as recommended by the police subcommittee. Discuss approved cell phone use policy as submitted by town administrator David DeMonch. Sign renewed proposal for MIA health benefits as recommended by health insurance advisory committee. Approve ambulance abatements. Write off for September 2018 as submitted by Gary Sylvia, police uh, fire chief. Approve Board of Selectmen's minutes for September 24th and October 1st, 2018. The Town Administrator's report, report, we have nothing under the Board of Health. The Personnel Board is appoint, Je Jeremy, no, appoint Jeffrey Chandler as Public Records Clerk, Building Department, effective October 15th, 2018. Signed Change of Status Report for Joshua Simmons, Signal Operator, effective October 15th, 2018. Signed Change of Status Report for Kaylin A. Joes, Police Patrolman, Effective October 16, 2018. Signed change of status report for Chelsea Hester, library technician. Effective November 11, 2018. New business, dates for upcoming Board of Selectmen's meeting, Monday, November 5th, Monday, November 19th, Monday, December 3rd, Monday, December 17th. And we have nothing for executive session tonight. With that being said, um, let's go right to discuss vote on funding sources for articles for special town meeting warrant. Seven. We'll go right through them one by one, okay? We'll make that easier. Uh, money articles, we have Article 7. Um, so you, Article 1 is... Those are the transfers. That's what we're talking about. Right, that, that we funded as a state. Okay. So I'll take that into... Take a motion for Article 1. Okay, Article 1 has a uh, written warrant. Fund as stated in the uh, warrant. I'll second that. Motion made and second to fund as stated in the warrant. All in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> Article 2. Article 2. Uh, it is also a water department. I uh, know this Article 2 is water selecting for 1727. Make motion, take it from excess tax levy. I'll second the motion. Any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Article 3. Article 3 would be out of free cash. Article 3 from free cash for $11,638.13. Is that a motion? Yes. I'll second the motion. Motion made and seconded. Discussion on the motion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Article 4. Article 4 out of uh, tax levy also. Out of tax levy, $60,000. And is that a motion? That motion. Uh, second the motion. Any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Article 5, $25,000 for the brush pile. Derek, any um, information on that other than 25000 Yeah, um, I'm actually going to propose that. I, I feel comfortable that we could probably drop that 10000 to fifteen. Um, I got a quote um, a little bit lower than the 25 that I had proposed, and I feel like I can work with it a little bit. Um, I do have another account that I can try to, if it does go over the 15 a little, just a little bit, I can play with. So I'm, I'm going to feel comfortable being able to drop that to 15,000. You're going to do that on the floor, correct? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So from tax levy also? Yes, 
Excess lobby. Uh, is that a motion? Motion. I'll second the motion. Any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Article 6. Article 6 is for $12,000 for the town bonds. Um, lift. I'll second. Motion meeting seconded to take to use twelve thousand towards uh, out of tax levy. Any discussion on the motion? Hearing none. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Article seven. Article seven. New number is twenty-four thousand dollars. Put the paper there. Yes. Uh, I'll make a motion for twenty-four thousand out of tax levy. Uh, how do we have to do this? Specify. The problem with this is this one is raising appropriate transfers. You have to specify funding source. You can say language for Article 7, $24,000 with the funding to come from. So we'll make a motion for you now from where it's coming from. Right. And then this will just be the number of the answer. Right. It, well, you'd have, you'd have to tell the moderator yeah. the funding source. Yeah. But we're going to discuss the funding source now. And then that'll be the Discussing funding sources. Got it. So Article Seven is the contract for the uh, club, but just the police bat, uh, dispatchers union. Yep. Um, do I have a motion where the money is going to come from? Um, Twenty-four thousand dollars from tax levy. I'll second the motion. That, that was a motion, correct? Yes. I'll second the motion. Any discussion on the motion? Hearing none. All in favor? Aye. Uh, um, Timothy, please. Put down the time. Yep, six ten. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Article eight. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Article eight is um, from Lyuna for the Freetown Highway Unit B. Um, funding source. Uh, tax levy. Make a motion. Second. And Dalma. Dalma will be. Eight, um, uh, Fifty-five hundred forty-four point nine eight. So that motion was six thousand five hundred forty-four dollars ninety-eight cents. Yes. And seconded. Any discussion on the motion? Hearing none. All in favor? Aye. Article nine. To see if the town will vote to raise appropriate. This is for collective bargaining group unit A, town hall unit A. It's on the amount was $22,515.99. Out of tax levy, make a motion. Second. Motion made to take it out of tax levy a second. Any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Article 10. Article 10 is for the CBA for the Full-Time Firefighters Association. The amount for Article 10 is $23,330. We have a motion to take it uh, out the funding source. Aye. Tax levy. Second. Motion made and seconded for the tax levy. <coughs> Any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Article 11 is a non-monetary article. Article 12, the amount of $1,500 for the purpose of shredding 121 boxes of records. Aye. Tax levy. Second. Motion made to take it out of tax levy and a second. Any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Article 13 uh, is not a money, uh, yes it is, Article 13. Article 13 is for OSHA safety requirements that will be effective July, uh, February 1st, 2019, approximately $30,000. Well, $30,000 should be approximately here. Uh, funding source. Tax okay. levy. Second. Motion remains seconded for tax levy. Discussion on the motion. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Opposed. Uh, <coughs> 14, um, $2,380 for a town share of FEMA assistance for firefighters grant. Uh, the diesel tax. exhaust removal system. I tax Second. Motion made to take it out of tax levy. All in favor, uh, discussion on the motion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Article 15. 
Article 15 is for $8,750 for Fire Station 1 located at 3 Elm Street for the facade of the building. Upgrade the facade of the building. Do I have a motion for funding source? Uh, free cash. <coughs> That's a motion for free cash? And second? Oh, second. Motion made and second. Any discussion on the motion? I thought we were going to take it out of capital stabilization. Capital stabilization. Free cash. So if it's out of, okay, but at the end, the last article is for so much money from free cash to go into capital stabilization. Does that take that into consideration or no? Yes, uh, we have 225 and 255 for the stabilization and capital stabilization. Is that with the 8750 in capital stabilization? No. So this is that was spending 8750 out of free cash. Okay. Okay. Motion made and seconded. Any discussion? Future further discussion on the motion. Hearing none. All in favor? Aye. Article 16. Um, for 17,463 dollars for FEMA staffing for adequate fire fire emergency response safer grant. Second. Motion made and second to take the money from tax levy and discussion on the motion. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Article 17. Article 17 is a non money issue. It's simply changing the contract. Article 18. Article 18 is $1,082 for the, in the sewer, water and sewer enterprise fund. Right. We just need this, this funding from as listed on the paper. Yeah. Do I have that motion? Uh, I'll make that motion for the retained earnings. <clears throat> second. Motion made and second. Any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Article 19. Article 19 is also from the Water Department. Uh, also is a uh, from their funds. <clears throat> Do I have a motion on Article 19 for funding source? Uh, the $36,500 for retained earnings. Second. From the Water Department's, 36500 from the Water Department's retained earnings. Any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Article 20. Article 20 is for $1,587.24 for the printing of the flyer. Um, yeah, it's, a petition. Petition. it's a petition article. Um, uh, it's a, that's a petition. So. The article's on, on the floor. Somebody makes a motion to pass over. That was already paid. Um, article 21 is a zoning article, non monetary article. Article 22 is a zoning article, non monetary article. Article 23, um, this is for us, is also a zoning article, yes, sorry. What about 24? Yeah. And Article 24 is the stabilization and free cash article. Okay, uh, the 225 for stabilization and free cash and the 255 uh, from poor capital to stabilization for cash. Second. Motion made and second to move 225,000 from free cash to stabilization fund and 255,000 from free cash to capital stabilization, capital stabilization fund. I did say stabilization fund the first time, didn't I? Yes. <clears throat> so it's 225 from stabilization, 255 from capital stabilization. Wait, wait. just to correct you, uh, this is to transfer from free cash, cash to, to, sta stabil to right. capital stabilization. And, and to the stabilization. Correct. Right. Not from. Yeah. Not from. Right. To. Right. So. It's a majority vote. Uh, yep, this would be a majority vote because it's two. The first one listed is ca the capital stabilization account. So how much? To Cap the capital. To the capital stabilization. Capital stabilization would be two hundred fifty-five thousand. And regular stabilization is two twenty-five. Two hundred twenty-five thousand to regular. Two hundred twenty-five thousand to regular stabilization. Thank you. And uh, we had a motion. Second. Motion made. Second. Any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Okay. Moving on. Signs all the funding sources for tonight's meeting. 
Next on the agenda, discuss vote for board on board recommendation for special town meeting article five. Article five, uh, I don't think you were here for that. Um, Derek met with uh, a couple of bidders and it appears that he can do it for, what'd you say, about 10,000 less than what the article is? Correct, I'm gonna make a motion that we go from 25,000 to 15,000. Um, I got a quote that was a little under the 25,000. I can try to work with it to get a little bit lower and then I have another account that I can I can play with a little bit to cover a little bit over 15,000, but I think I'm comfortable enough to make a motion to drop it from 25 to 15 on the floor. Derek, you, you would make a motion to drop it from 20 to 15, you simply make a motion to uh, uh, raise an appropriate $15,000. Okay. One of us that. Okay, I'm sorry, you're not a resident. One of you would need to make that. Yeah. Right. So make, you would make the motion to read 15,000 instead of the motion would simply be to raise an appropriate eight hundred thousand dollars. I'm sorry. Well, is the monitor really going to read it as is, and then we'd make the motion to change it to fifty? You know, you, he would he would read the article, and you would just the motion would be to raise an appropriate fifteen thousand dollars. That's the that would be the main motion. He's still confused. A little yeah. bit, but because it's a printed has, article. That he has gonna... 25 in front of him. Exactly, yeah. but that's the article. Right. And, and the motion is the action. So the article would say 25,000. Oh, okay. So he agrees with it. Motion, we we make yeah. the motion. Okay, that changes those. Yeah. 15,000. 15,000. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because that's your, that's your main motion. That, that is the, the action. Um, can I have a motion to amend Article 5 to read $15,000 being funded from free cash? If, if, if I may, again, it's, it's not a motion to amend. amend. Right. It's just a motion to raise the fund rate $15,000. For Article 5. So, Mark, it would be a motion to fund Article 5 in the amount of $15,000. So from the tax. Right, exactly. That's perfect. Second. Thank you. <laughs> motion made <and> second. <laughs> Any further discussion on that motion? Yeah, I hope not. All in favor? Aye. Aye. <clears throat> okay. Discuss vote on this next special town meeting date as recommended by police subcommittee. Does the police subcommittee have a recommendation for the next meeting? So the police subcommittee met and um, the uh, subcommittee met to have a special town meeting on November 14th at 7 p.m. At 7 At the high school. At so, can I have a motion to set the next special town meeting as recommended by the Free Town Police Subcommittee for November 14, 2018, at the Conoco High School at 7 p.m. 7 p.m. I'll second that. Motion being second. Any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Do you want counsel at that meeting? Yeah. <laughs> Discuss approved cell phone use policy as submitted by Town Administrator David Demange. Okay, um, this, the policy basically came out of the um, bargaining efforts that we're involved in, uh, where there was a situation where um, basically everyone has had a cell phone, they use cell phone, we don't encourage them to use them all during the day, but uh, there's one department uh, uh, where they weren't allowed to use them at all, and it was, uh, this came out of uh, that discussion and basically outlined some basic rules as to when it's appropriate uh, to use a cell phone as well as recognizing that we want to keep it to a minimum and, uh, and, and at the end gives us uh, the ability to uh, reg further regulate it or eliminate it at the direction of the department head and uh, myself. We all have a copy of copy of the policy. Any discussion on the copy? I'll entertain a motion. I'll make a motion to uh, accept the cell phone policy. Second. Motion made. Second. Discussion. Motion. Hearing none. All in favor. Aye. Aye. 
Sign renew proposal for MIA health benefits as recommended by the Health Insurance Advisory Committee. Okay, uh, we met um, on October 11th uh, with Maya, uh, with the rates. We didn't actually have a person from Maya then. And uh, they forwarded, the Insurance Advisory Committee forwarded a letter uh, stating that after looking at documentation presented by Maya relative to health insurance coverage for fiscal year 19, the commission uh, committee made a, a motion to have all existing coverages increased by 0.59, so it's a tiny, tiny amount. It's like a dollar and a half of the premium for managed pollutants, seniors to, and zero percent for medics to. And the motion was carried unanimously. So there's a tiny increase on the uh, uh, medics and the managed pollutants plan for the upcoming year. I'll make a motion to accept as presented by the uh, insurance advisory committee. I'll second. Motion made and second. Any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Approved ambulance abatement write offs for September 2018 as submitted by Fire Chief Gary Sylvia. Make a motion to approve the annual abatement for September 2018 in the amount of $72,096.39 and the write offs for the month of September 2018 in the amount of $13,240.91 for a transfer of $85,338.30. I'll second. Motion made and second. Any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Approved Board of Selectings minutes for September 24th and October 1st. And do you have any issues with the minutes as written? No, just motion to approve. Second. Motion made and seconded to approve the minutes as written. Any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Personnel Board appoint Jeffrey Chandler as Public Records Clerk Building Department. Hold on. Oh, I'm sorry, David, I skipped you. That's all right. Well, we got anyway. <laughs> uh, on Friday, uh, with the help of KP Law, we closed on the Bullock Road uh, property. And, uh, you know, our attorney, Sharon, did a great job uh, helping us uh, pull that together and finally close on it. Uh, I want the board to know that I've uh, passed the third class in the procurement uh, program and I'm going to be state certified uh, as a uh, official state procurement officer in the near future. I mean, I'm going to need a letter from Bob saying I'm serving as a Chief Procurement Officer of Freetown. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> our new building inspector, Jeff Chandler, is on the board. Uh, we've had a number of meetings uh, over the last couple of days. I uh, just basically walk in. Uh, I told them about some of the issues that I've been dealing with, uh, particularly related to facilities. And uh, I'm going to bring him into the loop in terms of helping me put together uh, the things that we need to do and, and the issues that have been outstanding for a long time, uh, I'm going to get him working on those immediately. And I've identified those to him. Uh, I don't want to overwhelm him at this point, but I, I, uh, I did let him know some of the issues that have been out there for a while and the ones that we really want to see resolved. Uh, the Harper's uh, personnel module is moving forward. We got agreement and uh, we actually uh, have uh, we've got the, the card, uh, not card, like it's like a, what do you call it, a time clock with a swipe on it. And uh, we've been testing it, so things are moving forward there. And uh, I just also wanted to call to the attention that, that in the packet there's a letter from our uh, Department of Veterans Services relative to the legislation of the Brave Act, MGL Chapter 218, that will start to take effect on Veterans Day of this year in recognition of all the veterans uh, that have so uh, bravely served our country. It gives a whole list of new benefits that are going to be given to the veterans, deservedly so. And uh, I just wanted to let the board know that we received that letter and, and an outline on the, on the, uh, the additional benefits that will be, be provided to uh, our veterans. Thank you. Okay, now to personal chair Charlie Sullivan. 
first item is the uh, certificate of appointment for Jeffrey Chandler uh, to be public records clerk uh, for the building. Second. Motion. Second. Is there any discussion? Hearing that. Have you talked to them about this? And after they yes. make the uh, opening, uh, one of the libraries is going to provide a good save. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You have a motion made second? Motion made second. Uh, any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Thank you, Mr. Personnel Chair. New business again, date of upcoming board selections meeting. Meetings was Monday, November 5th, Monday, November 19th, Monday, December 3rd, Monday, December 17th. And that'll do it for this meeting. I want to change it. Bob, oh. I think you messaged one vote here. Um, I did. I, I uh, uh, accused myself from. I, I know that. I got that. I figured that. Um, the brush, the transfer station brush, you didn't vote if you were going to recommend the article or not. Yeah. You voted to me personally. Because we held it for the last time, right? Right. Okay. Vote on the right I'll right. make a motion to uh, recommend the article. I'll second. With the new figure. Motion made and second to recommend the article. Any discussion on the motion to recommend? All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. See? Keeping us on our toes. Yeah. Oh, Those are good check. Yeah. <laughs> I'll attend a motion to adjourn. Or actually, motion to continue to recess. <laughs> motion to recess until after the power meeting. Moved, made and seconded. Any discussion on the motion to recess? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Ladies and gentlemen, the appointed hour having arrived, the quorum being present, I'll now call the town meeting to order. I'll ask the town clerk to come up and read the warning and the return. Warrant for the special town meeting, Monday, October 15, 2018, 7 o'clock p.m. Bristol County, to either of the constables in the town of Freetown, greeting. In the name of the Commonwealth, you are hereby required to notify and warn the inhabitants of the town of Freetown, who are qualified to vote in town affairs, to meet in the Freetown Elementary School Auditorium, Body 3, Bullock Road, East Freetown, Massachusetts, on Monday, October 15, 2018, at 7 o'clock p.m., then and there to act on the following articles. And you are hereby directed to serve this warrant by posting attested copies thereof at the following places. A Sony Post Office, East Freetown Post Office, the stores of Quick Pick in East Freetown, Junior's Convenience Store and Freetown Town Hall, and the Freetown Communication Center. Hereof, fail not and make return of the original warrant with your doings thereon, immediately after making service thereof, to the town clerk of Free the town of Freetown, Massachusetts, given under our hands and seal of the town of Freetown, this 24th day of September, Anno Domini 2018, signed by the Freetown Board of Selectmen. 
to the town clerk, town of Freetown, Massachusetts, September 26, 2018. I have this day posted attested copies of this warrant in the designated places described herein, signed Carlton E. Abbott, Jr. Constable. Everybody who's checked in, just make sure that you have the green uh, vote paper in case we need to do a hand count. And for anybody that might be new or just needs the refresher, if you have questions or want to discuss any of the articles, come up to the microphone, give us your name, and at least the street that you're on. Um, if there's a couple of people already standing, it's all right to form a line. It's not rude. It helps us know that there's somebody else waiting to talk. And with that... Um, Oh, yep, all of the articles at tonight's meeting, unless otherwise noted, will be funded out of taxation. And now we'll start with Article 1. To see if the town will vote to supplement the amount raised from water sewer enterprise revenues for fiscal year 19, previously approved by the vote taken under Article 13 of the annual town meeting of June 4th, 2018, continued to June 5th, 2018, by transferring from fiscal year 19 water sewer enterprise revenues the sum of $4,648 to be allocated to the general fund for the purpose of funding increases in indirect costs previously appropriated in the omnibus budget by the vote taken under Article 1 of the annual town meeting of June 4th, 2018, continued to June 5th, 2018, and or take any action relative thereto. This was submitted by the Board of Water and Sewer Commissioners. It requires a majority vote. The Finance Committee recommends this article. Take a motion is accepted as read. Second. Motion is made and seconded to adopt Article 1 as read. Is there any discussion? <coughs> Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. All opposed? Article 1 is adopted unanimously. <coughs> Article 2. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $1,727 to supplement the personnel costs contained in the Board of Selectmen budget as appropriated in the omnibus budget by the vote taken under Article 1 of the annual town meeting of June 4, 2018, continued to June 5, 2018, for the fiscal year 2019, and or take any action relative thereto. This was submitted by the Board of Selectmen. It requires a majority vote. The Finance Committee recommends this article. A motion has been made and seconded to adopt Article 2 as read. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. All opposed? Article 2 is adopted unanimously. Article 3 will be funded by free cash, not by taxation. Article 3, to see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate and or transfer from available funds the sum of $11,638.13 to pay a bill from fiscal year 2018 for Re from Republic Services LLC due to unexpected increase in increases in costs in recycling, collection, and disposal, and or take any action relative thereto. This was submitted by the Board of Health agent. It requires a nine-tenths vote. The Finance Committee recommends this article. Make a motion to approve this red. Second. Motion has been made and seconded to approve Article 3 as read. Is there any discussion on Article 3? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. All opposed? Article 3 is adopted unanimously. Article 4. To see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate and or transfer from available funds the sum of $60,000 to supplement the fiscal year 2019 operating budget for curbside trash and recycling and or take any action relative thereto. This was submitted by the Board of Health agent. It requires a majority vote. The Finance Committee recommends this article. Motion to approve is read. Second. A motion has been made and seconded to approve Article 4 as read. Is there any discussion? Sir. Oh, so you, sir, you've got to come up to the microphone. And just give us your name and, and street, please. My name is Ignacio Grajales. I live 19 Nan Record Lanes. I, I just want to know is this for the new? Contract that you have in the Republic? Okay. So for the path. Hi, Derek Nacido, health agent. Um, Thank you, sir.
microphones have to be on for one of them, or I still don't understand. No. <laughs> Um, this is not a new contract. This is um, just an add-on to the current contract that we currently have. We had a pretty major change that occurred um, over this past year with the recycling contract. And this is basically to just kind of cover us for the current contract that we're under. One, one of the articles was for a part of an unpaid bill from the last fiscal year. The second article is moving forward for this fiscal year. But it's still the same contract. Uh, I'm going to be recycling. Because for the past year, I haven't seen any recycling. I think we got to do the same thing. We've been recycling for the last couple of years. Every week. Yeah. I truck just by my house. It fills it all in the same thing. <coughs> That should be recorded. Hold on, folks. If you, if you have follow-up questions or whatever, he's going to come up as well. I'm just curious to know a little bit more about what happened with the previous one. Hello? I don't think it's working again. Really close. Okay. <laughs> no better. I was just curious to know a little bit about um, what happened with the previous contract and contractor, and is there, um, are they like in default or something, or um, is there any recourse we have for them not performing, or, I mean, how, why are we picking up the tab if, you know, they, they have a contract and they agree to perform the services, right? Um, I'll, I'll answer as to what happened. Um, <laughs> I'll let other people answer, so, you know, what's happening legally. Um, basically, uh, Republic would pick up our, um, I feel like I should be this. <laughs> Republic was picking up the garbage and recycling, and they were taking the garbage to Crapo Hill, the recycling was going to a company called We Care out of time. And one day in May, they just closed. Just no warning, doors were closed, the trucks actually got turned away. So from that point forward, we've been scrambling for recycling. Um, as far as legally, I'm, I'm not going to get into that part, but that's what happened. Are there any more questions or discussion on Article 4? Okay, hearing none, the motion again was to adopt Article 4 is read. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Article 4 is adopted unanimously. Uh, Article 5, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate and or transfer from available funds the sum of $25,000 to grind the brush pile at the transfer station and or take any action relative thereto. This was submitted by the Board of Health Agent. It requires a majority vote. The Finance Committee recommends this article. Mr. Moderator, I will make the motion to read the sum of $15,000 Second. Okay, a motion has been made and seconded to uh, reduce the amount in Article 5 to $15,000. So, first we vote on that amendment. Is there any discussion or questions on that amendment to reduce the cost from $25,000 to $15,000? Yep, this is just on the amendment right now. Brian Miller, uh, Flag Swamp Roast. Uh, is this going to be a yearly thing now? Because I noticed that the brush pile was a, wasn't an issue until this year, from what I read. Because uh, it, it was so much debris, the same for the reason. But I mean, is this going to be something now from here on out? We should expect the bill for 15000 uh, every year to do this pile? Uh, is there another way to handle the pile from here on out? Um, the this is not going to be a yearly thing. Um, I'm going to make sure that this doesn't happen again. Um, it, was, it was a big pile that I inherited. The Mark storms really made the situation much worse. Um, so I just want to get it cleaned up, and then I will make sure it doesn't happen again. I'll come up with ways of you know, separating it so it's a little bit easier to dispose of. I have a couple of ideas, but definitely this is not the plan to do this on a yearly basis. The separation at this point is at this point, it's, it's too out of control. All right. 
Are there any, any additional questions or discussion on the reduction from 25,000 to 15,000? Okay, so we will vote first on that amendment. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? The amendment passes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, we'll now vote on adopting Article 5 at that amount of $15,000. Is there any further question or discussion on that? Seeing none, oh, go ahead. Just, uh, this is Heath Meters, uh, Jeffrey Lane. Uh, just as a, uh, a follow-up on what you had said before about a plan, um, can you give us an example, and does it require investment in, say, larger wood chippers or things like that? Mm -hmm. um, possibly. Um, and if I can work with it, what I, my initial thought is just get it separated. If you have the log separate from the brush, separate from the compost, A, it becomes easier to dispose of, and B, I can take care of the compost myself. Maybe we get a chipper to take care of the brush, maybe we just get it sent out when it gets to a certain amount of a pile, but either way, it's cheaper once it's separated. This is right now just a pile. So, yeah, this, this is not fun, but I will make sure that we don't get to this point again. However, my avenues turn up, that's what I'm going to do. Hopefully, it's not this. Okay, is there any further questions or discussions on Article 5? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. All opposed? Article 5 is adopted unanimously at 15,000. Article 6. <coughs> To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate and or transfer from available funds the sum of $12,000 to purchase and install a new auto lift for the town barn to replace the 1986 lift that is presently out of service and or take any action relative thereto. This was submitted by the highway surveyor. It requires a majority vote. The finance committee recommends this article. Make a motion to approve this read. Second. Motion has been made and seconded to approve article six as read. Is there any question or discussion on Article 6? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. All opposed? Article 6 is adopted unanimously. Article 7. <coughs> to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate and or transfer from available funds a sum of money for the purpose of funding and implementing the first year cost items contained in a three-year collective bargaining agreement between the Town of Freetown and Public Employees Union Local 1144 Leuna. Freetown Public Safety Dispatchers Union, covering the period of July 1st, 2018 to June 30th, 2021, and to supplement the fiscal year 2019 annual operating budget in the amounts and categories presented in the supplementary schedules as on file with the town clerk, and or take any action relative thereto. This was submitted by the Board of Selectmen. It requires a majority vote. The Finance Committee recommends this article. This article as well? Uh, this is, which article are you? Seven. 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 Yeah. Okay. All right, so the Finance Committee actually does not have a recommendation on this article. They have no recommendation. Make a motion, step to the red. Needs an amount. Uh, $24,000. Okay, a motion has been made and seconded to adopt Article 7, the amount of $24,000. If you picked up one of these half sheets uh, with the warn, this is one of the articles that has the number on it. The next few articles, are the numbers are on that sheet. Are there any questions or discussion on Article 7? Okay, hearing none. Oh. Uh, what the Finance Committee is telling me is that the next several articles that are uh, for the contracts, they have no recommendation on any of those articles because they did not have the dollar figures early enough to make a recommendation. Uh, is there any further question or discussion on Article 7? Uh, Brian Pickett, Jane White Court. 
I'll just ask the question if we have an option or if these already been negotiated. Well, if the personnel board answer that or for the town administrator. And I'll go ahead and apply this to all the following questions that are somewhere. All of these articles are to fund contracts that have been uh, agreed upon. Okay. Does that answer your question? I guess so. Are there any additional questions or discussion on Article 7? Okay, hearing none, the motion was to adopt Article 7 with the amount of $24,000. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Article 7 is adopted unanimously. <coughs> Article 8, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate and or transfer from available funds a sum of money for the purpose of funding and implementing the first year cost items contained in a three year collective bargaining agreement between the Town of Freetown and Public Employees Union Local 1144 Leuna, Freetown Highway Union Unit B, covering the period of July 1st, 2018 to June 30th, 2021, and to supplement the fiscal year 2019 annual operating budget in the amounts and categories presented in the supplementary schedules as on file with the town clerk and or take any action relative thereto. This was submitted by the Board of Selectmen. It requires a majority vote, and again, the Finance Committee makes no recommendation. Mr. Moderator, I make a motion to accept it as read with the figure of $6,544.98 in taxes. Is there a second to the motion? Second. Motion has been made and seconded to adopt Article 8 as read in the amount of $6,544.98. Are there any questions or discussion for Article 8? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. All opposed? Article 8 is adopted unanimously. Article 9. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate and or transfer from available funds a sum of money for the purpose of funding and implementing the first year cost items contained in a three year collective bargaining agreement between the town of Freetown and Public Employees Union Local 1144 Leuna, Freetown Town Hall Unit A, covering the period of July 1st, 2018 to June 30th, 2021, and to supplement the fiscal year 2019 annual operating budget in the amounts and categories presented in the supplementary schedules as on file with the town clerk and or take any action relative thereto. This was submitted by the Board of Selectmen. It requires a majority vote. The Finance Committee makes no recommendation. Mr. Moderator, I um, make a motion to accept it as read with the sum of $22,515.99 taxation. Motion has been made and seconded to adopt Article 9 in the amount of $22,515.99. Is there any discussion or questions on Article 9? Sir? Mike Blaze, Quantumpog Road. Um, I got a question. Why doesn't the local take any of the expense of these, uh, yeah, these uh, bills? Why is the local deferring to the town for all of these bills? What you're doing is you're appropriating additional sum of money from uh, this year's budget to, to uh, pay for the contract negotiations. In other words, um, at the time of the annual town meeting, we had not uh, negotiated a contract. <coughs> so, I'm, 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 I'm pretty well, I do a lot of negotiating myself. I'm a local representative myself. Um, the union usually splits the bill. With no, the no, 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 this is not a bill. It's the contract. This is the contract. This is this negotiation is... of the contract. No, no, right? no. This is funding the contract. The salaries. Oh, this is the salaries of the contract. Right. The way it's written, it says it's the negotiation. No, it doesn't say that. No, it doesn't say that at all. Okay. Are there any additional questions or, or discussion on Article 9? Hearing none, again, the motion was for $22,515.99. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Article 9 is adopted unanimously. Article 10, 
to see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate and or transfer from available funds a sum of money for the purpose of funding and implementing the first year cost items contained in a three year collective bargaining agreement between the town of Freetown and Freetown Full-Time Firefighters Association covering the period of July 1st, 2018, excuse me, to June 30th, 2021, and to supplement the fiscal year 2019 annual operating budget in the amounts and categories presented in the supplementary schedules as on file with the town clerk, and or take any action relative thereto. This was submitted by the Board of Selectmen. It requires a majority vote. The Finance Committee makes no recommendation. Mr. Moderator, may I have a motion accepted and read with the sum of $23,330. Second. Second. Motion has been made and seconded to adopt Article 10 with the figure of $23,330. Is there any discussion or questions on Article 10? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. All opposed? Article 10 is adopted unanimously. Article 11, to see if the town will vote to accept as public ways the roadways known as Nick Drive, Cody Drive, Ethan Circle, and Riley Circle, as heretofore laid out by the Board of Selectmen and shown on a plan entitled As Built and Profile Plan of Nick Drive, Cody Drive, dated April 25th, 2018, and revised on June 19th, 2018, prepared by Howland Land Surveying, Inc., a, com a copy of which is on file with the town clerk, and to authorize the Board of Selectmen to acquire by purchase, gift, and or eminent domain the fee or lesser interest in said roadway and any drainage, utility, access, and other easements related thereto, and or take any action relative thereto. This was submitted by the Board of Selectmen, it requires a majority vote. The Finance Committee recommends this article. Make a motion to approve as read. Second. A motion has been made and seconded to adopt Article 11 as read. Is there any question or discussion on Article 11? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. All opposed? Article 11 is adopted unanimously. Article 12. To see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate and or transfer from available funds the sum of $1,500 for the purpose of shredding 121 boxes of records approved for destruction by the Supervisor of Public Records for the Commonwealth of Massachusetts as the final phase of the project for a new archival storage location and or take any action relative thereto. This was submitted by the town accountant. It requires a majority vote. The Finance Committee recommends this article. Make a motion to approve as read. Second. A motion has been made and seconded to adopt Article 12 as read. Are there any questions or discussion on Article 12? Go to the uh, Middle Bar Road. Um, how old are the records? Or what are they? Uh, have they been... Uh, Computerized or anything? Uh, the town accounts can't answer that question. Hey, Dean Kim Dale, town account. Um, the records have all been. Oh, sorry. The records have all been reviewed by a company called King Information Systems, and um, the records go back um, several years. Um, we just had an issue where um, departments hadn't purged their records on a regular basis. Um, nothing is historical um, that's going to be destroyed. So they're all still kept. Thank you. I was curious whether the records went back to the 1700s or something, and some of them should go to the Historic Society. Thank you. Are there any additional questions or discussion on Article 12? Okay, seeing none, all in favor? Aye. All opposed? Article 12 is adopted unanimously. Article 13, this is another one with the dollar figure on the, the smaller piece of paper. Article 13, to see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate and or transfer from available funds a sum of money to purchase equipment and supplies necessary to comply with the implementation of OSHA safety requirements which will go into effect on February 1st, 2019 and or take any action relative thereto. This was submitted by the town administrator. It requires a majority vote. The Finance Committee recommends this article. Mr. Moderator, I make a motion to accept it as read with the sum of $30,000 for taxation. Second. A motion has been made and seconded to adopt Article 13 as read in the amount of $30,000.
Is there any discussion or any questions on Article 13? Hi, Joe Irwin, Baker Street again. I'm just curious what is meant by OSHA safety requirements. Um, are we talking like stuff for the fine space entries, excavation and trenching, um, PPE, stuff like that, or what exactly are we buying? Uh, actually, all the uh, municipalities in the Commonwealth are now, uh, as of February 1st, going to be subject to OSHA regulations in terms of safety and equipment. And uh, what we have done is we've talked to uh, our uh, insurance company, Maya, uh, about what we need to uh, purchase and how to make um, uh, our facilities safer, as well as offer training programs. We've identified several items that are going to need to be fixed, and this is the money that we're going to need to do that. Okay, thank you. Okay, are there any additional questions or discussion on Article 13? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. All opposed? Article 13 is adopted unanimously. Article 14. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate and or transfer from available funds the sum of $2,380 and no cents representing the town's share of a FEMA assistance to firefighters grant to install a diesel exhaust removal system for fire station 3 and or take any action relative there too. This was submitted by the fire chief. It requires a majority vote. The finance committee recommends this article. Motion has been made and seconded to adopt article 14 as read. Are there any questions or discussion on Article 14? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. All opposed? Article 14 is adopted unanimously. Article 15 will be funded by free cash and not by taxation. Article 15, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate and or transfer from available funds the sum of $8,750 for the purpose of designing the facade of Fire Station 1 located at 3 Elm Street in Asonic to accommodate modern sized fire apparatus and any incidental and related costs thereto and or take any action relative thereto. This was submitted by the fire chief. It requires a majority vote. The finance committee will address their recommendation directly. We just want to make sure that everyone is aware that this $8,700 is just for the study and that the end result should be uh, a change in the doorway, which will be somewhere around $100,000 to accommodate new equipment. I'll address the sum that uh, the Finance Committee just said. Um, we have spoken to an architect and he has um, given us a figure that would be probably more like in the area of fifty thousand uh, so dollars. So it'd be about twenty-five thousand dollars per door uh, to raise the facade so that uh, apparatus can fit in the station. No, no other apparatus other than the, the engine that is presently there uh, would fit now into Station One. Um, Last summer, they were repaired. There was a re uh, need to repair engine one. There was no fire engine in station one for approximately six to eight weeks. That's one issue. Engine one is now going to need to be replaced, and it would be very difficult to uh, purchase an engine that would fit into the station. George, can you just put, do you recommend it or not recommend it? No, we are recommending this article. I just want people to be aware of what the cost would be down the road. So the Finance Committee does recommend the article. Uh, they just want to make folks aware of what the future cost will be. Is there any additional question or discussion on Article 15? Brian Pickett, Jay Mike Court again. Uh, just a quick question. So if the cost ends up being well over $100,000, we consider doing something different with the town's people have an opportunity to assess that other option at that time? Yeah, so any time we spend money or um, bring up uh, an article forward, it's the town's people that decide whether they're going to vote it up or down. 
Um, our job is to make sure that whatever number we bring forward is the correct number. So this um, 8750 will get us to as close a number that we know is going to be exactly what we need to come here and order, you know, ask for 125,000 when it could be 75, or vice versa, doesn't do anybody any good. So I think that once we know that right number, it'll, it'll come forward to you at the annual town meeting and more than likely come out of capital stabilization, which is already money set aside for this reason. Okay, are there any additional questions or discussion on Article 15? <laughs> Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. All opposed? Article 15 is adopted unanimously. Article 16, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate and or transfer from available funds the sum of $17,463 and no cents, representing the town's share of a FEMA staffing for adequate fire and emergency response grant, for the purpose of supplementing the personnel budget of the fire department to hire two additional firefighter paramedics and or take any action relative thereto. This was submitted by the fire chief. It requires a majority vote. The finance committee will again uh, address this article directly. Okay, again, uh, we're recommending this article, but we want people to be aware that when this is adopted, the end result will be in a year or two, we will have two additional personnel at the fire stations, uh, which will be an increase in the budget. Uh, the number I have here is $140,000 a year. But, uh, you can correct me on that. Yeah, the, the grant is only for uh, three years, and each year, the grant is reduced by uh, an amount. <coughs> Big motion acceptance rate. Second. Okay, a motion has been made and seconded to adopt Article 16 as read. Is there any question or discussion on Article 16? So I'm a Mark Weldon, a two mill street this owner, and I just want to uh, make sure I heard it right. So if we approve this article, uh, so this grant runs a certain amount of time, and then when the grant runs out, the two additional firefighters become part of the town's budget. So we're looking at a good deal for two years, if I read it right, and then beyond that, we're support we have hired two firefighters continuing on at this $140,000 a year. Right, so if we approve this article, you're really approving a much longer thing. I mean, it sounds like a great deal, you know, having two more people at the fire station, but that's a short term. Uh, is that accurate? Yes. Are there any additional questions or discussion on Article 16? Mr. Moderator, uh, just to answer the man's question, the um, grant time period is from January 1 of next year, if I'm, if I'm correct, uh, for three years with a reduction at each year. After the three years, the town can, will vote to either maintain the staffing level uh, with the two additional firefighters or they won't. Um, so you're not, what you're doing tonight is your uh, applying money to uh, offset the amount that you need to fund the grant for this year, and then subsequently in the next two years budgets, we would uh, supplement it in that budget. It, brings the it would bring the fire department, full-time fire department force, to 12 men in total. Keith Midas, uh, Jeffrey Lean. Uh, do I also understand correctly that uh, we currently have uh, at least one fire station that's not uh, currently manned all the time? There's only uh, two of them. Okay. I guess you guys know more than I do about that. <laughs> that's, that's one of the reasons why we believe that the SAFER grant is um, 
a, a good fit for us right now. Um, you know, that's why it's called a safer grant. We're trying to make our town safer, and we think this is a great way um, for us to move forward in that direction. But again, in two years from now, three years from now, when we come forward, if we feel that you know we're overstaffed or we feel that we can't afford it, we can address those concerns at that time. So we have a motion made and seconded to adopt Article 16 as read. Is there any further uh, discussion or questions on Article 16? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. All opposed? Nay. Article 16 is adopted by a majority. Article 17, to see if the town will vote to amend the vote taken under Article 18 of the annual town meeting of June 4th, 2018, continued to June 5th, 2018, authorizing the Board of Selectmen to enter into a tax-exempt lease purchase to acquire police cruisers by striking out the words Ford Motor Credit Company LLC, therefrom and inserting in place thereof the following words, All American Investment Group LLC, and or take any action relative thereto. This was submitted by the Chief of Police. It requires a majority vote. The Finance Committee recommends this article. Motion to be read. Second. Motion to, be <laughs> to adopt it. Second. Second. Motion has been made and seconded to adopt Article 17 as read. Are there any questions or discussion? Yes. Sir? I'm, I'm Charles Simon on uh, Baker Street. Um, what I was wondering here, I think I understand the intent. What I'm recommending is just to change it to say, not to strike out Ford Motor Company, the Ford Motor Company or the other company as appropriate since you know, they may already have Ford vehicles and would have to terminate them. I don't quite understand, it looks like a source selection. So you're selecting which one you want to get the vehicles from. The police chief's going to come up to clarify what this is. What this is about. Okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, the voters approved the funding for this article at the annual town meeting, and at the time, we believed that Ford would finance uh, the acquisition of vehicles. Since then, we've learned that Ford will not finance any vehicles other than Ford vehicles. So we look to All American. All American currently finances, uh, I think, the entire fleet of leased vehicles for the town. And it also has a lower interest rate than what Ford would have offered. So at this point in time, I, I would just recommend that we move forward with adopting the, uh, the language for All American. Um, and I'd ask you to support that. Thank you. The motion has been made again and seconded to adopt Article 17 as read. Are there any further questions or discussion on Article 17? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. All opposed? Article 17 is adopted unanimously. Article 18, to see if the town will vote to appropriate the sum of $1,082.50 in the Water and Sewer Enterprise Fund for the purpose of paying two prior fiscal year bills to be funded from the certified retained earnings of the Water and Sewer Enterprise Fund and or take any action relative thereto. This was submitted by the Board of Water and Sewer Commissioners. It requires a 9 tenths vote. The Finance Committee recommends this article. Motion is seconded. Second. Motion has been made and seconded to adopt Article 18 as read. Are there any questions or discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. All opposed? Article 18 is adopted unanimously. Article 19, to see if the town will vote to appropriate the sum of $36,500 in the Water and Sewer Enterprise Fund for the purpose of increasing the expense budget previously voted under Article 13 of the annual town meeting on June 4, 2018 and continued to June 5, 2018 to be funded from the certified retained earnings of the Water and Sewer Enterprise Fund and or take any action relative thereto. This was submitted by the Board of Water and Sewer Commissioners. It requires a majority vote. The Finance Committee recommends this article. Make a motion. Accept it as read. Second. The motion has been made and seconded to adopt Article 19 as read. Are there any questions or discussion on Article 19? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. All opposed? Article 19 is adopted unanimously. Article 20. 
to see if the town will vote to raise, appropriate, and or transfer from available funds the sum of $1,597.24 to pay vendor for printing and mailing an informational flyer from the Freetown Finance Committee to all Freetown homes. This was submitted by petition. It would require a 9 tenths vote. This bill has already been paid, so the Finance Committee recommends that this article be tabled. Second. Okay, a motion has been made and seconded to pass over Article 20, which does almost the same thing as tabling, and it kills it anyway. Uh, are there any questions or discussion on Article 20? Sir? Sorry to be a great flyer. I'm just curious if there's a way we could just email it to us in the future. Right. Uh, I, there is an email system set up also, I believe, but this article is, is specific to paying this one bill. Oh, I understand, but I was just curious, for, in terms of when the Finance Committee um, has sent out something like that, can you just, is there a way to just send it to us in a more modern technology, technological way? Than... Uh, the problem with uh, emailing is we would need an email list mm -hmm. of everyone, which we wouldn't have. Mm -hmm. So this is the only way that we know of that will reach every home. Have we ever asked the town's people if they would? Yes, we have. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, maybe the selectmen can respond to that. I think there may be 140 or so responded to that. So the, at our last town meeting, um, the townspeople voted to do also a one-call system. The one-call system is used to um, let people know and inform people of special town meetings, annual town meetings, um, any emergency situations that we might be uh, need to be made aware of, um, you can contact Town Hall and set up right through there. You'll either get a text message or an email or both. Or a phone call. Okay, are there any additional questions or discussion on Article 20? Hi, Chandler, Bullock Road. Uh, is this, it doesn't state whether it's for prior fiscal year? It would have been for a prior fiscal year, but again, it's already been paid. Okay, so it doesn't need to be stated. Nope. Yes. Okay. In, in this instance, it does not. Okay. Are there any additional questions or discussion on Article 20? So again, the motion was to pass over, which has the effect of killing it. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Okay, Article 20 has been passed over unanimously. Article 21. To see if the town will vote to amend the Town of Freetown Protective Bylaws, Article 11, Zoning Bylaws, Section 11.26C, Adult Retirement Community, Restrictions, Lot Size Area, by adding the sentence, the minimum acreage for an ARC development shall be not less than five acres for properties that are serviced by municipal water and or sewer, and or take any action relative thereto. This was submitted by the Planning Board. It requires a two-thirds vote. The Finance Committee does not recommend this article. We will now hear a uh, report from the Planning Board. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for coming. Uh, my name is Kevin DeMaris, Chairman of the Freetown Planning Board. And having a duly uh, noticed public hearing, the Freetown Planning Board makes a positive recommendation. We would hope that this gets uh, approved here at Town Meeting. The motion has been made and seconded to adopt Article 21 as read. If there are any questions or discussions on Article 21. Uh, Brian Miller, Flights on Group. Uh, is there any lot in mind that the reason why we're changing it from 10 to 5 is necessary? Or is this something that you can get up and tell me, I guess, if you want? I'll let you finish. I just didn't know if there was any other as well. Like, you can basically just tell me now. I want to make sure everybody can hear. All right. Um, no. We have no project before us. We don't have a certain lot in mind. Uh, what we do have is a housing production plan uh, that's in the process. It's been through the state. We're waiting on the, the selectmen. I believe they're going to be taken up at one of their next uh, meetings. Uh, we worked two years on that housing production plan with uh, SERPIT, our regional planning authority. We spent, I believe, close to $30,000 in grant money. That was not our money, folks. Uh, and part of the housing production plan is to find alternative ways to offset uh, the cost of housing. 
there's a big A affordable and there's little A affordable. Uh, everybody, I believe, has heard of 40 Bs. Basically, if your town does not have a minimum of 10% big A affordable housing, uh, then somebody can come in and put a 40 B in, okay? And they throw all our zoning requirements out the window. Um, not that that's a bad thing. People need a place to live. But we have to keep in mind what this town can accommodate and how, we, how quickly we can grow. So to try to offset some of those things, we look at alternative ways. And, and one of them in the housing production plan, it's, you know, we establish strategies. And one of them is to modify the plan mixed use uh, district bylaw, which is down on South Main Street. Uh, and also to uh, modify the adult uh, retirement community bylaw, which is this is here tonight. The idea on the adult retirement community is uh, there's some affordability components to it. We've heard over the years now, I've been doing this for quite some time, and I've heard a number of seniors come up to me before and after public uh, uh, town meetings. Uh, we need some place for our seniors. I know the selectmen years ago took the initiative to look at the Freetown screw site, if I'm not mistaken, and that's got some hurdles of its own. Uh, this, is not, this is not a town project. We're not proposing a housing authority, nothing like that. Right now, uh, the bylaw states 10 acres. So if somebody wants to come in, they can do this type of uh, activity right uh, currently. And it's been on the books for a couple, uh, the Adult Retirement Committee has been on the books for almost 10 years now. So I know it's a rather lengthy uh, answer, and I apologize, but I, I think everybody needs to at least be uh, aware of the, the history of this. So we thought of, of, a, of a different way. What if the lots weren't as big? What if, what if land developers and, and what if property owners had uh, smaller lots, and then in theory, they wouldn't have such a capital outlay, and they could do a smaller project to keep costs down to make it more cost effective uh, for the 55 and over folks who here would love to stay in town, but they really want to get out of their home, whether it be maintenance, uh, it's just too big, the cost of heat. Uh, so this was a small, small piece of our housing production plan uh, that we made a promise in that plan that we would move forward with some of these items. We're going to move forward with some more in the future. We're going to be working on them. Uh, but we thought this was a, 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 a way to stop. Sellers County Road. Uh, you say you have no project in mind. I talked to someone at the office, the main office, about a year ago, and they did have a project in mind. They had a project on County Road. They had municipal surge and water. And I'm not mentioning this at all. That acreage probably is less than 10 uh, acres. Now, how come that is not mentioned? It's not mentioned what are the requirements. What, who goes into that? I was told not only Freetown residents, any resident, any person can go in there. You say there is no more project, and that was already mimeographed, and I saw it. I know nothing of any project that's been before us on, 20, on, on County Road for a 55 and over. Nothing. I, 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 I would love for you to show me here. I, yeah, we'll, we'll show them. And, Yes. They want to put oh, that's the Freetown Screw. That's the Freetown Screw? Okay, that's a town project. That's, this is not a town project. This is just a simple bylaw. A bylaw, again... So if you change the bylaw, doesn't that mean that the Freetown Screw is less than 10 acres? It could be... Uh, the, uh, work could be done there. I don't know. I haven't been involved with Freetown Screw. I, I don't know. Well, that's the town. No. But it's not the planning board. You understand? We have a housing authority that was working on that. I believe the town administrator before David, so I don't want to throw you in front of the bus, David. I apologize. Yeah, but uh, they were going to put 128 acres, 128 units. You know where the Freetown Screw Company is? They want 128, they told me, 128, two, two, uh, and, and the land had to be taken. Uh, they had to talk to uh, Kushnet because it was, uh, they cleaned it out. They cleaned out that screw factory and they were planning to do something. 128 residents, 55, and anybody can come in. They didn't say it had to be Freetown people. One entrance, all lights, through the congestion that's right at the line. And you're saying that nobody knows about this? Well, how come I saw the brochure? I have it. What I'm, what I'm saying there, I apologize, what's your name there? Pat Severs. Pat Severs. Um, nothing's come before the planning board. That was a town initiative. 
the town, again, hearing folks here in town. How come they're not meeting? I, I, I'm, I'm going to try and answer that question. Yeah. I want to make a motion to amend uh, the article to state uh, specifically for over 55 communities uh, preferential treatment to residents in Freetown already. Town, they're out town semesters that have done that already. And to also add that review by the Housing Authority as well with the planning board as the bylaw states already. Right? So again, to, do you want to say what I'm saying again? Or do you want to well, to add an age restriction is outside the scope of the article, so that amendment can't be discussed at this meeting. Well, there mean? already is an age restriction. It's called the adult retirement community. Right. Five and over. But no, I know, I know that already. I'm, what I'm trying to do is make sure that it's added so that three town residents have preferential treatment. Sure. Just like town of Sutton, I believe, I believe Sutton Mass might have done that already. Um, I want that added to the article. Right. You cannot add that to the article. No, I believe that would be outside the scope as well. There's really theoretically no outside of any scope, though, right? As long as it's changed. We're amending the bylaw itself for 11C. So this article, would, would, what I'm amending is. So the, the article speaks to amending the acreage. When right. you get beyond anything other to do with the acreage, then you're getting outside the scope of the article. But the scope of the article is the acreage. The scope of the article is only confined to reducing the acreage from 10 to 5 acres. But when you add an amendment to it, you can add anything to it. You cannot add an amendment outside the scope of the article because the warrant has to give people proper notice. But the scope of the article is allowing access, so technically the scope is wider than what... The scope of the article is the acreage of the property. But, not, the the but, not, not, but, the, but the spirit of the article is to allow for more. So therefore, by adding an amendment to it right now, you're, restri you're further restricting which is what we're trying to do. But so the, that it's still article, allowed when it's restrictive. More. The article speaks only to changing the acreage. You can't get into other subjects of residency, ages. The article is strictly about the acreage for the property. It's limited in scope to the acreage. You can make any amendment you but, want contained to the acreage, but you can't get into matters that are not the acreage. All right, can I make a motion to add an article? That, you can't yeah. add an article to a warrant, but you can do a petition for the next coming town meeting. I thought it was the majority vote. You can add an article. You cannot, no. The okay. warrant is as it's printed. All right, then I motion the table. You don't want to table it. Okay, folks, the motion has been made and seconded at the table. A table motion is not debated. We cannot continue to discuss it now because he made a motion to table. Was it seconded? Did we go? There was, a, there was a motion and a second, so the motion the table is not debatable. We have to vote on that motion. Right. So, folks, just so you understand, the motion that was made and seconded is to table. Yeah, but I didn't my chance to speak. You, I he made a motion that takes away your chance to speak on the motion. My question okay, is, well, why, no, why are you changing it from ten to, to five? Ma'am, you can't ask that question now because he made that motion. Motion to reconsider. We have to vote on the motion's table. We have to vote on the motion's table, ma'am, before we can do anything else. He made the motion. It was seconded. So if you want to continue discussing the article, vote no right now and don't table it. If you want the article to go away, vote yes in its table. So the motion before us is to table the article, to end discussion, kill the article, and, and send it away. All in favor of that motion, please say aye. Aye. All opposed to that motion, nay. Nay. All right, the motion to table has failed. Now we can continue to discuss the article. Ma'am, go ahead. Okay. I, have a, I have a question. Um, well, you never answered my question. Maybe you did, but I don't get it. Uh, why did you change it from 10 to 5? That makes it easier for somebody to come and develop. And I can show you the plan where it says 64 units, two places, 128 units, and it's a three pound two pound. Why? And it said all residents of uh, residents from anywhere. Now, this is often. How come you're not with the town administrator? He is the one who sat me down and talked to me about it, and you don't know anything about it? Why are you changing it? That's my question. If I, Kevin, if I could. Mrs. Severs, I think the question you're asking sounds as though it's specifically to the Freetown screw site. Is that correct? Any step, five, five, 
But the question but, is, you're saying ch change the acreage. You're not saying how many units are going to go in, an in that acreage. You're not saying who's going to go, 55. That makes a big difference. You can, in other words, another question was that when you plan this, the town is, uh, has a developer. Once the developer takes that land, he runs it. The town right. has nothing to do with it. But I, I believe and Kevin will speak to it better. I don't believe that this article that is proposed is for a specific project. I think it's just yeah, a but once you will classify it, it could go anywhere in the town. Gary Mendes, 178 Chase Road. My question is, if there isn't water and sewer, what happens? Who pays that bill? Well, it says if there's water and sewer, is it present? Is it water and or? I mean, and or each? Which one are we talking? And if there's nothing there, what happens? Who pays the bill? Who pays what bill? For water and sewer to be brought to the property. There is no water, so it wouldn't be allowed because you have to have 10 acres yeah. if you don't have water and sewer. If you had water and sewer, you wouldn't be able to have five acres. So what if you change it to five? So you change it to five, so you're actually allowing whatever to go on in 10, you could go on in five. If they have water, the way the question reads, if they have water and sewer, they Present, do it on existing, five. or added in at the time of building? Yeah. It would be existing. So I think it, this article should have said existing. No. I'm going I'm to try. There's a lot of questions. <laughs> Keeping in mind that the planning board held a public hearing for this, we, we had. You don't know what anything about? I, I'm, I'm sorry. So what I, what I want to do right now, okay, and I have... Hold on, man, 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 I, I really you have to let him answer before you can ask okay. a follow-up question. You, the first question you asked me... I've never been before. I, no, no I, I know that. I know that, and that's why well, I don't know that, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to work with you. Right. You asked a simple question. Why are we doing it? Right. It seems like we're trying to make it easier for this type of development. But you're not we, giving us any details. Mr. Monterey, I'd like to be able to at least answer my question. You have to let him finish answering before you can ask a follow-up question. The question you asked, we're trying to make it easier. We, well, you're not giving any information. Five this is, ma'am, you said this is your first public meeting, right? Right. right. This, this bylaw that allows it on 10 acres yeah. has been on the books for almost 10 years now. What, what, what do most towns have? I don't care what most towns have, dear. I care about free town. I don't care about what works in Freetown here. And I'm, I'm not trying to get upset. I'm not trying to get personal. Here's what I'm going to do, Mr. Moderator, if I could, okay? I'm going to use a chairman's prerogative at this point in time. I know I didn't. Ma'am, I really, I really. Okay, Spoke, you, man, you need to let him finish before you can. I apologize, ma'am, I do. Um, at, the, at this point in time, I can see that there's a, a number of, uh, of, there's a lot of confusion. And I'll take part of the blame as the, as the chairman of the planning board. I will tell you that our agendas are online, our public hearings are online, uh, on the town website. We have public meetings. We invite every year. I come up here twice a year and I have a zoning article and I, I turn around and I say, folks, it would be nice to see you at our, at our public hearings. It would be nice to hear your input. The folks that I have heard input, the folks that we have heard input over the years, they want 55 and over. Why, can't, why do I have to go to New Bedford? Why do I have to go to Fall River? Why do I have to go to Lake Park? I grew up in this town. I want to be near my children. I want to be near my grandchildren. I feel safe with the police and fire in this town. So what, so, so what we're trying to do is make it easier and maybe a bit more affordable to those who are 55 and over. The bylaw is very specific about the number of residents, the type of units, the age, who can live there, whether a caretaker can live there also, because basic folks, we have a lot of us that are getting to that age where we're going to need somebody else to help us. And we thought it would be nice to have a location that's in town. So, so you're asking, Kevin, Kevin? Yes. All right. Well, folks, hold on, folks. Kevin, you said you were using chairman's prerogative. I apologize. I just made I, I made the chairman's prerogative thing up. Basically, here's the deal. If there's a lot of confusion, if there's a lot of confusion, I'm gonna just. If there's a lot of confusion, 
I'm going to make a motion that we pass over this article, and I will make a promise that we will have informational meetings relative to this zoning article, any other new zoning article. And ma'am, I'm going to get your phone number and right. I'll call you. I leave. <laughs> so I can Wait talk to you personally. I'll give you a I'll give you a second. 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 Folks, we have a motion made and seconded to pass over this article, which again makes it go away for this meeting. All in favor of that motion? All opposed? Article 21 is passed over by the majority. Article 22. Folks? Folks, we're going to move on to Article 22. Kevin. Kevin. To see if the town will vote to amend the Town of Freetown Protective Bylaws, Article 11, Zoning Bylaws, by changing Section 11.18H1, Table of Use Regulations, to allow truck stops by special permit in the Science and Technology Overlay District, and or take any action relative thereto. And you'll see in the table that's printed, the N has been struck out and replaced with an SP. This was submitted by the Planning Board. It requires a two-thirds vote. The Finance Committee recommends this article. And again, we will hear from the Planning Board their recommendation on this article. Again, after having a publicly advertised public hearing, discussing this at an open meeting, the planning board recommends adoption of this article. Okay. We need a motion before we can discuss. Make a motion to approve as read. Sorry. Motion has been made and seconded to adopt article 22 as read. Ma'am, go ahead. Hope Pereira, South Main Street, and so on it. I went to three separate meetings, and you, sir, yourself told me we have no, no plans for any kind of truck stop. That's correct. On three separate meetings. Now suddenly it's coming out that you're trying to put one out. That's going to increase the traffic. That's going to increase the amount of trucks. The roadways are already starting to break apart. Somehow or other, a UPS storage facility was put in behind, I'm sorry, UPS trucks were put behind the storage facility that people claim they knew nothing about. But yet, being a resident living right near there, I saw gravel being trucked in and out on a daily basis, but no one knew anything about it. Now you want to add additional trucks. No. It's not safe for the residents there. It's not safe for the children that live in that area. There's children that live on Innovation Way? Hold up. Hold, 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 hold on. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Kevin, hold on one second. The area is residential. There are houses in that area. Hold on, folks. You're right. You're right. You're right. I'm just going to give a general reminder of the discourse. When you're speaking, you're supposed to address the meeting as a whole. Not I am, an individual. And, I, and, I, and I'm very heated because right. I, was, I, was, I was told three separate times that there are no plans for a truck stop. <laughs> Understandable. And, and, and obviously there is. That's that's for the planning board to address, but I just want to make sure that we're directing no. the conversation general to the room. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if everybody quite understands how zoning works. We don't have a project come into town and then we figure out, oh, how do we change zoning to make it work? There are no projects. There are no applications. It is all public record. If I spoke to you three times, ma'am, and I told you that there wasn't any, there is not any. I don't lie, I don't lie to you, and I don't lie to anybody else. My world, this world that I live in here, with the being the public world, it is all out in the open. You want to come down tomorrow, you can sit in our office in the planning board, you can look through every single file. You can do the same thing in virtually any other office. You might have to ask permission from them. But the fact of the matter is we have no projects before us. We have recognized we have approximately 1,500 vehicle trips, truck trips a day from between Stop and Shop and um, Amazon. This proposal is to allow a, that type of activity, which is already allowed, by the way, again, by a bylaw that was adopted two years ago at town meeting. What we neglected to do is, in our table of use, change it. We, it's a, so this is more of a clerical. Right now, they can do this activity there. It states clearly. Commercial, I got it right here, I'm sorry, I got a few of these, yes, I will take my time, all these poor people, they love it when you put zoning articles at the end, they have to listen to us, right here, the uses that are allowed, okay, 
packaging, industrial research and development, public and or commercial parking lots. Okay? So, where on what? Where's the commercial parking lot? Well, can, we can, don't, we don't. Can you, the question was, Mr. Moderator, where are the commercial parking lots? I don't know exactly how to answer that, except that we have none that have been permitted. This is simply saying, folks, the science and, overlay, the science and technology overlay district, which is located on Innovation Way, Amazon, for all those folks that don't know where Innovation Way is. We have two remaining parcels, and I say we, located in the town. We do not own them. We have gotten complaints over years. To your point, tractor trailer traffic at South Main is awful. Just last year, we put four new bylaws on to, to combat that, okay? There is a proposal before us now for a gas station to change and put diesel pumps in. Absol absolutely, unequivocally, not a truck stop. I need to get through, it through everybody here so everybody understands. It is not a truck stop. It hasn't been approved. It's still in the public hearing phase. Again, that's been going on for months, and quite honestly, I've had the same two or three people that show up to every one of those meetings. They're open, they're to the public, and they're advertised. So the fact of the matter is, this is, a, this is just housekeeping to change it from no to special permit. It doesn't mean that they have it by right. It means if one wanted to locate there, they would apply. We would have public hearings. The public would have an opportunity to come in and, and weigh in on these things and comment on them. Okay? We invite all this vehicular traffic. We all love, we all love getting our Amazon Prime and two days later, it all comes on, on trucks. I don't want these trucks in our, in our village district, in our village business district, and they don't belong as much as they have to be on South Main Street where Stop and Shop is. I, we don't want them there. The state just spent $60 million on a brand new off ramp there. That's the area. It's an industrial bit. It's the backside of a dump. That's where we want this type of activity, if it was even going to come to town. We don't have a proposal. If we, 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 we would be in a lot of trouble, quite honestly, and council can speak to this, that if every time we had a new proposal come in, we would come in and we would change the zoning to, to accommodate that proposal. Be, it, it would be, it would, it, it's a tight rope to walk and I don't want to be on it. So quite honestly, this is a bylaw that's been on the books for a couple of years now to allow that type of activity. We don't want it on South Main Street. Okay, we don't want those, but they need to stop and rest. And the fact is, what we said is, if one wanted to come to town, if tomorrow a new building inspector got the application, where do we want? Do we want it in the village business district? Do we want it in the middle of the town? Do we want it in general? No. We want the science and technology district on the other side of a highway, on the other side of a railroad track, next to a 1.3 million square foot facility that utilizes this type of tractor trailer traffic. If you go up on Innovation Way, they're parked all over the side of the roads, up and down South Main Street. So what we did was we said, if somebody wanted to come to town, this is where they locate. That's how zoning works. Hey, if somebody wants to build houses, this is why we have residential. Somebody wants to do business, this is why we have a business section. And within those, you have uses that are allowed. What we're saying is, we should have changed that in the table of use when we, excuse me, two years ago when we adopted this by one year at town meeting. It was an oversight. This is housekeeping. I will tell you this when I have the informational meeting. I think it's, I think it's time, folks, that, that we're having a lot of conversation about zoning. People have strong opinions about it, okay? Um, I've got a couple years left on, on planning board uh, before my term runs out. I, I'm gonna, it, it's, gonna, it's gonna have to happen. I'm, I'm gonna have to make a concerted effort that we're gonna have to try and get more folks involved so they understand how this stuff works. This isn't just somebody in the back of the room one day going, hey, here's an idea. This gets thought out. Advertised, talked about, public hearings, thirty thousand in grant money. I mean, we use. There's a lot to it. Zoning's not for everybody. So to answer your question, what, what, why, why are we doing it there? Because of any place in town, that's where we belong. Basically, in Fall River, on the other side, across from an existing warehouse. I think that what happens is that the public policy, you know, is generated through suggestions sometimes or even businesses who approach, you know, uh, with ideas. So what happens is people wonder sometimes when something out of the blue, like with the 10 to 5, you know, why not 4, or why not 6, is there a 5, you know, people start wondering. So with this truck stop, people start then looking around the area and saying, okay, where's this truck stop going to go? And then you start speculating and wondering where, and sometimes it's misinformation. But 
again, the problem is, is you don't, you know, saying there's nobody in that has presented this idea to the, uh, you know, to the town to get the ball rolling to change this, this little or it must have happened years ago, obviously, you're saying, because that's why this is just a clerical thing now. Yeah, we'll right. um, the problem is, is, I mean, is this going to allow for like a loves, you know, truck stop to pop up and that, you know, uh, you know, I don't think anyone's ever seen those where they can park and take a shower, they get all the, everything, all the bells and whistles for you guys. Um, but what I did was I talked to a guy that was back there the other day and he told me that they have an app that will show truck stops in the area and that this area has none. So if we had one, I was on Blackstone Road, and I already got enough trucks coming down there. I don't even go down there because they're going to go and you know rest for the night because they're coming from down the mall, you know, because that's what will happen. If they look on their app and see that the radius shows that this one's closest, and that they'll go that way. That to me is an issue. Whether this is a boom of cash for the town, if they did build the lungs, I don't think it would offset having people run over. So uh, I. Am I wrong? Am I... So I understand you're not for making the clerical change. Because it's on the books right now. We cannot change it. We can't take it off. Yeah, well, will this be the process? No. So, no, what I'm saying is if we don't change it, we're going to do a truck stop? Yeah. They can do it right now. So it's out of our clock. It's my special permit. Right, right. I, yep. did I, I thought I heard somebody make a motion to move the question. Did I hear that? Yes. yes. Second. Second. Okay. A motion has been made and seconded to move the question, otherwise called call the question. That means we end discussion and move immediately to a vote. Yes. The motion on Article 22 was to adopt it as read. So, all in favor? Aye. Oh, yes. Which is all in favor of moving the question? I'm sorry. All in favor of ending the discussion and voting? Aye. All opposed? Aye. Okay, the uh, motion to call the question has been adopted by the majority. Now we will vote immediately on the question, which again is to adopt the article as read. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Aye. All right, uh, that does to me sound like it was more than two thirds in favor, so we will declare that Article 22 passed by the two thirds majority. Article 23, to see if the town will vote to amend the Town of Freetown zoning map in accordance with a list of changes as on file with the Town Clerk's Office at the Town Hall, 3 North Main Street, a summit mass, and or take any action relative thereto. This was submitted by the Planning Board. It requires a two-thirds vote. The Finance Committee recommends this article. We will hear again from the Planning Board. After having a public hearing, Mr. Chairman, uh, the Planning Board recommends adoption. Simply stated, and I'll read this statement, hopefully uh, it's succinct. This article was submitted at the suggestion of the Conservation Commission. It rezones a number of parcels that have been donated to the Conservation Commission or that are owned by the Fall River and or New Bedford Water Departments. Uh, they'll rezone it from general, industrial, industrial to or residential, and it'll be rezoned to open space and recreation. It also rezones approximately 500 acres recently purchased by the state for the expansion of the Freetown State Forest from general uh, to open space and recreation. In addition, it rezones certain areas under conservation restrictions to open space and recreation, and it corrects the, uh, excuse me, corrects the zoning of several lots that are split between zones due to changes in lot lines. In other words, you have a lot, there's a zone that goes right through it. It's predominantly open space as it exists, so the remainder of that parcel is going to be open space. Again, mostly Conservation Commission land, land owned by Fall River Water, uh, New Bedford Water Departments, um, and also 500 acres from, that was uh, purchased by the state. Well, we're going to have a motion. Make a motion to accept it. Okay, motion is made and seconded to adopt Article 23 as read. Okay, is this for current Fall River owned land? Or yes. is it as they acquire more, that nope. land gets brought into this? Or will they have to read? Because I've been there at Great Bow and Paul is in the process of buying that. Right. And, I, and that's the water department that's buying that. And I want to make sure that nobody's open spacing it in my backyard. So, so. I'll, I'll ask Kevin to make sure that I'm right, but my understanding is this they have to own it now, and it has to be listed on the list for it to be effective. It's not on the list now, so. Right, that's all they need to do.
Just so folks understand, open space and recreation, uh, and recreation, they can use it as a trail. Could be a path, right? There could be passive recreation, but open space and recreation basically is what it is. It's open space, it's recreation, it's the town, it's the state forest. Excuse me. Uh, we've been successful. Uh, I know the Conservation Commission over the last, particularly, 10 years, of putting hundreds of acres uh, into open space and recreation that we've uh, been able to get donated. So. Um, this is trying to be a, a, a happy balance. You know, we look at things and we want to put uh, part, uh, part land aside and areas aside that cannot be developed in the future uh, so that we can maintain what we have here in Freetown uh, where it belongs. Motion for the question. Okay, motion was made to call the question. Second. Motion made and seconded to call the question. So for again, we're voting now on just ending the discussion. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Okay, the motion to call the question passed. We now vote on the article itself. The motion was to adopt the article as read. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Article 23 is adopted unanimously. For Article 24, again, the dollar amounts are printed on the small uh, handout sheet. Article 24, to see if the town will vote to transfer a sum of money from free cash to the capital stabilization account in the amount of blank. That has been recommended to you at $255,000. And to the stabilization account in the amount of blank, which has been recommended to you at $225,000. And or take any action relative thereto. This was submitted by the Board of Selectmen. It requires a majority vote. The Finance Committee recommends this article. The motion accepted and granted. Accepted and granted. With motion. $255,000 for capital plus stabilization and $225,000. And two hundred twenty-five thousand for capital stabilization. No, no, I did it right. Two hundred fifty-five thousand for capital stabilization and two hundred twenty-five thousand for regular stabilization. Okay, so the motion has been made and seconded to adopt Article Twenty Four with those recommended amounts of two hundred fifty-five thousand dollars in the capital stabilization fund and two hundred twenty-five thousand dollars in the general stabilization fund. Is there any? Discussion on Article 24. Discussion or questions on Article 24. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. All opposed? Article 24 is adopted unanimously. I would ask for a motion to adjourn. Motion has been made, seconded, and about 25th to adjourn. All in favor? Aye.